Hello, and welcome to Common Sense Politics. TV. Susan Rice and other Obama colleagues take heat for claiming their deal purged Syria of all chemical weapons. Susan Rice and other former Obama administration officials are taking heat for past claims that their 2013 Syria agreement successfully led to the Assad regime purging its entire chemical weapons stockpile in the wake of this week's alleged sarin gas attack. On Thursday, President Trump launched a targeted strike at a Syrian airfield in response to what he called a barbaric chemical attack on innocent civilians at the hand of Syrian President Bashar Assad. There can be no dispute that Syria used banned chemical weapons, Viola did its obligations under the Chemical Weapons Convention and ignored the urging of the UN Security Council, Trump said. During an interview this past January with National Public Radio, Former National Security Advisor Rice touted the success in Syria in striking a deal with Russia's help that resulted in the prior administration dropping the threat of military action. We were able to find a solution that didn't necessitate the use of force that actually removed the chemical weapons that were known from Syria, in a way that the use of force would never have accomplished, she boasted. We were able to get the Syrian government to voluntarily and verifiably give up its chemical weapons stockpile. Rice has come under fire for making misleading comments in the past. Most recently, she grabbed headlines for allegedly being tied to allegations of improper surveillance of the Trump team prior to his inauguration. In July 2014, then-Secretary of State John Kerry went on NBC's Meet the Press to discuss the September 2013 deal that resulted in Russia agreeing to help confiscate and then destroy Syria's stockpile. We struck a deal where we got 100% of the chemical weapons out, Kerry claimed. At the time, the fact-checking website PolitiFact found Kerry's comments to be mostly true. However, Given new evidence that Assad had recently used chemical weapons against his own people, PolitiFact was forced to revisit and revise its assessment of Kerry's claims. We don't know key details about the reported chemical attack in Syria on April 4, 2017, but it raises two clear possibilities, either Syria never fully complied with its 2013 promise to reveal all of its chemical weapons, or it did but then converted otherwise non-lethal chemicals to military uses. One way or another, subsequent events have proved Kerry wrong, the site ruled. The president himself on August 18, 2014 said that the most lethal declared chemical weapons possessed by the Syrian regime were destroyed by dedicated U.S. civilian and military professionals and that it had been done several weeks ahead of schedule. On January 6, 2015, then White House Press Secretary John Ernest praised Russia for its role in destroying the chemical weapons stockpile of the Assad regime. That was an important step, because it reduced, or essentially eliminated, the proliferation risk from that declared chemical weapons stockpile, that we could essentially destroy those chemical weapons and ensure that terrorists would not be able to get their hands on them and use them in other places. On Thursday night, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson slammed Russia for failing to do its part in preventing the Syrian government from using chemical weapons, despite the 2013 agreement to remove weapons from the country. Either Russia has been complicit or Russia has been simply incompetent, Tillerson said. Thanks for watching and good night.